Hello and welcome to Policy Driven Telemetry Demo for NCS 5000 and 5500 platforms using CLI Collector. This video is to demonstrate how Cisco Policy Driven Telemetry works. In this demo, we'll configure telemetry on the NCS 5508 router. The configuration process is the same for NCS 5500 and NCS 5000 platforms. For collection, we will use a simple Python script that binds to a specified port, waits for a packet, then decompresses and prints the object. The topology for this demo is very straightforward. We have a NCS5508 router, which is connected to Linux server via layer 2 switch. Both the Linux server and NCS5508 have IP connectivity and reachability between them. Let's get started with the demo. I'm accessing the NCS5508 router console. To start the configuration, I'll type conf d and then go into the telemetry prompt by typing telemetry. We will use the encoder JSON because that's the format in which the data will be sent out to the collector. Let's configure the policy group and name it test group. Let's name the policy file test policy. Make sure when we create the policy file, we give it the same name as what we are providing over here in the configuration. After providing the policy file name, let's configure the destination IP and the port number. This IP is the IP of the collector and the port number is the port number on which the collector is listening. Let's commit our changes and verify the configuration. In order to create the policy, we'll access the shell of the router by typing run and enter. Once we get the prompt, we'll go to the directory telemetry policies. That is the directory where we create all the policies. Let's make sure the policy file name we provide over here is identical to what we have configured on the router. The only difference is the file name we provide here should be suffixed by a dot policy. The policy file has three main components, name, metadata, and collection group. The most important one is the collection group. This is where we provide the path from where we want to get the data from the router, which will be sent out to the collector. In this example, we are mentioning two paths, one for the interface statistics and another for the memory. This data will be sent out every 10 seconds to the collector. That's where we see the period configured as 10. We can have any other number. We'll save the file and exit. Now we are back at the router prompt. Here we'll execute some show commands to verify the telemetry status. The first one we'll use is show telemetry policies brief. In this one, we see that the name of the policy is test policy, the policy is active, the version number is 25, and then there is a description. The version number and description is what we have provided when we created the policy file. This is part of the metadata. The next command we'll execute gives us much more detailed output, that is show telemetry policies. We can see the name of the policy, the file name, version, description. This is what we provided when we created the policy. The status of the policy is active. Cadence is 10 seconds. This is the amount we provided when we created the policy file and mentioned period is equal to 10 seconds. Total collection so far is one. We just now created the policy. That's why we see only one collection. But as we move on, we'll see more collections every 10 seconds. We have different timings, minimum, maximum, and average. Collection errors are zero. There is no missed collection. You can also see there is a path mentioned. This is the same path we provided when we configured or when we created the policy file. Now let's go to the Linux box and start configuring the connector. In order to access the internet to download packages, I will modify my environment variables and provide my proxy server names. 
I will also provide in the app.conf my proxy server names. The name of the proxy servers we are seeing on the screen are used only as examples. In your case, if you are behind a proxy server, use your own proxy server name. Now let's download the collector. Cisco has uploaded the Python collector on GitHub. We will execute the git clone followed by the full path to the collector file on GitHub. After the git clone is executed, we'll see in our home directory a new folder is created by the name Big Muddy Network Collector. The Python collector we just downloaded has a dependency on a proto file. Let's download the proto file from the GitHub and unzip it. Let's go to the Python collector directory and modify the telemetry underscore receiver file. We are modifying this file to provide the path to the proto file we just downloaded. Let's also set in our environment the path to the proto file. After setting the path, we will have to re login into our Linux server shell for the environment variables to be available. And that's it. We are all set to execute the Python collector script and start gathering the telemetry data. The IP address that we see here is the address of the local host and the port number is the same which we configured on the NCS5508 router as a destination port. Here we can see we started getting the telemetry data. We are getting the TCP messages with JSON encoding. In the output, we see that the policy file name is test policy. The output also has the path information. In our policy file on NCS5508, we provided two paths, one for the interface statistics and another for the memory summary. On our screen, we see the path for the memory summary and the data related to the memory, like page size, free physical memory, and system memory. If we scroll up, we'll see the information for the interface statistics. We'll keep getting the telemetry data every 10 seconds because 10 seconds is the cadence we configured when we created the policy file on the NCS 55 word router. The intent of this demo was to show how the telemetry works and data collected using a simple Python collector. For the collection and production environments, there are numerous softwares available that we can use for the collection of data. Hope you liked the demo. Thanks for watching.